guys. This is Tech with John, and today we're going to be looking at how to get killer flight deals using Skyscanner online. So the first thing I want you to do is fire up Google Chrome, and what we're going to do is come over here to the top right corner. We're going to click here and click the new incognito window. Uh, so I'm already in the incognito window session right now, uh, but basically the reason why we're doing this is in order to make sure that Skyscanner or any other uh, related travel websites are not storing cookies uh, to make sure we do have the best pricing possible. So once you reach this incognito screen, I want you to go to the URL and we're going to hit in skyscanner.com. Now you're going to notice that since I'm in Canada, uh, we've been directed to the uh, Canadian website of Skyscanner, uh, but we directed basically to whichever country uh, that you're currently located. Uh, so let's say right now I'm located in Toronto. And I want to go to Miami for vacation. Now, um, I'm assuming this is going to be a round trip for me. And what you want to do here is to click on the depart date. Uh, but this is a section that actually a lot of people miss out on. I want you to click on the whole month tab. I'm going to click February. And I'm going to return also in February as well. And what this basically does uh, is it searches the entire month and it shows the cheapest dates uh, from a holistic perspective. So I'm just going to click the search button here. Awesome. So you can see that we have two columns here, uh, one for the departure and one for the return flight. With the departure, we can see in the green uh, that the green places reflect the cheapest flights, uh, where we see the red uh, shows the more expensive flights that we do not want to be purchasing tickets for. So uh, let's say we wanted to book for the 7th and for return flight we're going to click the 11th and what's important here is that you click the show flights button uh, because sometimes these prices reflect the lowest price possible uh, but perhaps these flights not be the cheapest uh, with non-direct flights so we're going to click show flights Awesome. So right now what Skyscanner is doing, uh, it's basically crawling the web, searching for the cheapest prices uh, available for this particular destination on this date. And what it's going to do for you is compare all these airlines, and it's going to categorize them uh, in ascending order of pricing. Uh, but basically what you have here on the left side are the different options for stops. So let's say I did want to have uh, you know, one stop only. I can uncheck this box over here. Or maybe I want a uh, non-stop flight. No problem. Right, so over here we can see uh, American Airlines has a deal right now for Canadian $433. Not bad at all. So I'm going to click the select button here. And what this is going to do, it's going to bring me to another website here. And I want to make sure, uh, you know, a lot of times there's going to be several options here. But I want you to click the one, uh, the website that's directly for the airline. So this is American Airlines. Uh, there's only one option here. I'm going to click American Airlines. Yep, so we're being redirected uh, to the page where we can actually book the details. Awesome, so right now we're inside American Airlines. And right over here, click, this, click the accept. And basically I want you to fill out all the details here. Uh, go ahead. But one thing to do, keep in mind of, is to take a detailed look at the small check boxes. As a lot of times there are insurance, uh, you know, or extra legroom. A lot of, I guess, uh, value ending features that are not necessary uh, and ways to definitely cut back on costs. So that's uh, basically how to use scan Scanner in a nutshell. Uh, let's say you did want to go on vacation but you have no idea where you want to go. So let's say again I'm with Toronto and you can actually type in everywhere. And again I'm going to select a whole month for the month of February. I'm going to click non-stop flights only. Search flights. And there you have it. So we have all these different destinations here uh, in ascending order of price that you could go to. Uh, so, you know, 
some destinations that immediately pop out would be Iceland, Bermuda, Cuba. And you can click on these deals. Let's say I want to go to Mexico. You can see Cancun has a deal right now for $396. And yeah, so this is actually a great way uh, to find out where you want to go if you're on a budget. And like I said, uh, it's important that you click the month tab in order to get uh, you know, a full understanding of the prices uh, from a month-to-month -month basis. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, feel free to subscribe and give a thumbs up.